Okay, this is part two of the Honda EU2000i generator fuel problems. What I've done now is I've installed a petcock, which you can see the bottom of it up right up here. This was the existing fuel line that was actually routed over and connected to the fuel pump. So all I did was take uh, about seven inches of, uh, of uh, quarter inch fuel hose and ran it up to the petcock and then just took the existing hose and attached it to the other end. So now up on top, which you can't see, uh, is, is the valve. And I'll go ahead and I'll kind of put this back together and I'll show you what it looks like uh, assembled. Now here's a shot of it all back together. Uh, air cleaners reattached and uh, everything fits well. Uh, placement of the petcock is important because you want to make sure that it's back far enough away that it doesn't pinch any of the fuel lines and um, that's where we put it in and, and uh, it, it works out well so uh, the only thing I had to buy was the petcock and the, uh, the quarter inch fuel line everything seems right. I'm going to go ahead and fill this thing up with gasoline and see how it works Okay, the generator has been filled with gasoline and we're ready to do the first cold start on it. Let's flip it to the on position. There's the petcock that you didn't see before from the bottom, at least anyway. Uh, choke is on. Two seconds. Now let's see if we can do check to see if the fuel has drained out of the float bowl, which it should have. Now there's still that's about right. That's just in the um, the lower half. The float bowl actually has a, a recess in it. So just that tiny little bit. So the float bowl was uh, virtually empty, which that's pretty good. I think that'll probably work. and suggestions if uh, you have any.